Chapter 4, The Boss and the Book I ran to the lift. All around me people were shouting, she's back! Editors were doing their makeup and changing into their Jimmy Choo or Manilo Blahnik shoes. I collected the day's newspapers and the week's magazines from Ahmed in the lobby. Back on the seventh floor, I picked up a bottle of San Pellegrino. I ran through the fashion department. Andrea, remember to change your shoes, called a fashion assistant. Oh no, I was wearing red trainers. Emily, I don't think I can wear these shoes, can I? No, of course you can't wear those, she said, and picked up the phone. Jeffy, bring a pair of Jimmies in a size nine and a half. Emily, I saw, was wearing a completely new set of clothes from five minutes ago. I went into Miranda's office and put the newspapers and magazines in the correct order on her desk. Andrea, come out, she's on her way up, said Emily. The Jimmy shoes were on my desk. I was putting them on when Miranda walked in. She threw her heavy coat and bag on my desk. She looked at me for a few seconds. Oh, hello, Mrs. Priestley, I said. I'm so excited to be working for you. Shut up, she doesn't wanna know. She walked away. Is the bulletin updated? Miranda called from her office. The bulletin was very important. All of Miranda's messages and meetings were in the bulletin. Emily and I had to update it every five minutes. Yes, Miranda, it is on your desk said Emily. I emailed Emily. Can I speak to you if she's in the office? She emailed back. Yes, only if you have to, but you must speak very quietly. Don't ever speak to Miranda unless she speaks to you, and don't ever call her Miss Priestley. It's Miranda. Got it? Emily pointed to the coat on my desk and then to the cupboard behind me. I hung up the coat and sat down. Miranda appeared in front of me. I'd like my coat, she said quietly. I gave it to her and she put it on. I'd like the book tonight, Emily, she said. Yes, Miranda, said Emily. Andrea will bring it up. That was it. All that activity for a visit that lasted just four minutes. Hey, I said to James, can I come with you to Marshall's party after all? You'll have to wait for the book though, said Emily quickly. What's the book, I asked. It's the design for the next copy of Runway, Emily said. After Miranda goes home, the designers start putting in all the day's changes. You have to wait until they finish. How late is that? It can be any time between 8 o'clock and 11 in the evening. Then, every night, you have to take the book to Miranda's home on the Upper East Side. I'll come with you tonight. A runway car took us to Miranda's place at half past eight that evening. Take the lift up to her flat. Leave the book on the table just inside the door and then leave. Do not speak. It sounded easy. I unlocked the door to the flat and went in. I looked around and then went through an open door. And there they all were. There was Miranda, two little girls, and a tall man with gray hair they were eating dinner. They all looked at me. I took the book towards Miranda and then stopped. On the table out there, Emily, she said and pointed. Oh, um, hi there, I said. Shut up, she doesn't want a conversation. I'm Andrea, Miranda. I'm your new assistant. No one spoke. I'll just put the book on the table. Be quiet. Okay then. It seemed, I seemed unable to stop. Have a nice dinner. Nice to meet you all. Emily, I hope this won't happen again tomorrow night, said Miranda. We are not interested in what you are doing. I got back into the lift. I felt very hot. I hated her. She knows my name isn't Emily. The real Emily was waiting outside in the street. How was it? No problem, right? It was fine. No problem at all. Great, enjoy the party, see you tomorrow. James was right about Marshall's party. It was full of fabulous, famous people. 
We watched them as we had a few drinks and talked. I had to be back at work in six hours, so I decided to go home. Hey, a voice said, you're not leaving, are you? A good looking man stood in front of me. He was cool and very well dressed. My name is Christian, he said, pleased to meet you. Hi, I'm Andrea. He was a bit like Alex, only older and better looking. What brings you to a party like this, Andrea? I work at Runway Magazine. One of the fashion editors invited me. Ah, Runway, cool place to work. Do you like it? Well, I'm not really that interested in fashion. I want to be a writer, but I guess it's a good place to start. What do you do? I'm a writer. Oh, sure. Everyone in New York is a writer. Oh, really? What do you write? Oh, you know, books. Right now I'm writing a story about a young American woman in the 1940s. Yeah, my publisher thinks it's going well. He told me more about it. Wow, I've just read about this new book in The New Yorker. Everyone is waiting for it. This guy really is a writer. Are you Christian Collinsworth? I asked. That's me. But suddenly I was too tired to care. What did this big time writer want with me anyway? I already had a boyfriend. He came outside with me. It was really nice to meet you, Andrea, he said. Nice to meet you too, I said, and I held out my hand. He took it and kissed it. Until next time, he said.